we will remove the spring from the going train. First we select sleeve that fits over the top like so and then slide that onto the spring winder. Then tighten the winding arbor into the spring arbor. Tighten the arm down. Put on a glove. First thing we do is have a look and see where the pin is because that has to be slipped over there and twisted around underneath. So we hold that with our gloved hand wind up the spring and then slide the sleeve not tight enough, yes. over the spring and wind it back anti-clockwise and then undo the spring winder take that out Then wind, then wind the sleeve backwards till it comes out of the barrel and a top quality job soldering in there. That is unbelievably bad. It's lost two teeth. I'd say a spring's broken at some time. And he's made a, a rough sort of a tooth thing, hammered it in, slapped a big chunk of solder on it. Very classy job. And of course the solders run inside here in a blob and it's catching on the side of the spring. Okay. Bring back into the winder. Tighten it down. Put the arm on it. Then wind the spring up again. Slipping around till it gets tight enough so you can slide the sleeve off. Reverse the flow of the winder. Put your hand over the spring and unwind it slowly. And there it is. We'll remove the spring and the spring winder. We'll take the winding armor out, then we'll clean the spring. Winding armor and the spring. Now, I'll put a little rod in here. I'll take that off, we'll use that again later. Put it back on. Put a little rod in here. We can put the spring back over, the end on, so it doesn't jump off. Now, some blue Kero, tiny little bit, on a scouring pad. Back on. Put 
Now we run up the full length of the spring with our scouring pad turned over and rub it backwards and forwards to get off the old oil and gunk and who knows what not else is on this spring. Good grief. That has got horrible bloody stuff on it. We run up and down the spring, wiping the caro off and making sure that it's dry. Good grief, look at that rubbish. Terrible. and a clean piece on the cloth will come back down again. Surprisingly, the spring's not in bad shape. I'd say it's a brand new one. Well, relatively new, yeah, it's in pretty good nick. Unlike the bodgy soldering jobs that have been done. Now we're going to grease the spring wrap it up. Now we'll remove the spring from the rod on the winder that that'll come off. Take the rod out. Now we'll grease the spring. Setting there. To grease the spring we use a silicon grease. We don't use oil because we want the lubrication to stay in the spring and not run out down into the cloth. Using a toothpick is usually the best way to go. You get some grease on the toothpick and then run round inside the loops of the spring. making sure that we get a good amount on. Any excess we have, we will rub off once we've compressed the spring again before we put it back into the barrel. Over that one. Turn the spring round, do the other side, the top half, thin that out a bit, some of the outside coils, Flip it over, some in there. All right, that looks pretty good now. Just giving it a quick check over to make sure. Then we put the spring or plastic bag so it doesn't get dirty. You leave it there until after we've done the ultrasonic cleaning. Now looking at the strike and the chiming barrels, neither of the arbors has a square face on it. Like the going side train arbor. Consequently we can't put it in to the winding arbor because there's nothing for it to key in. So we'll have to remove those without using the winding arbor. We're going to remove the spring from the barrel that we can't take apart on a spring winder. We're going to do it manually. 
So we're wearing gloves. We hold the barrel firmly and very carefully start to pull the spring out. It can be pretty tough. Now if we can get a grip on it, use a screwdriver to lift it up a little bit over the first lip. And once that's see, we can then slowly unwind the spring. Very slowly, you'll see it starting to come out, holding it so it doesn't take away. And out it comes. That barrel seems to be all right. That's one out of three. There's our spring. Oily and crappy. So we'll clean that up. Grease it, put it in a plastic bag, put it aside. Then I'll do the same to this one. And then we'll be able to move on to cleaning in the ultrasonic cleaner. Strike that goes in the strike side. Once again, we'll pull the spring up very gently till we get the first lip over the top. Then we can start unwinding. See it's coming out now. Slowly unwind it. Don't let it get away from you. And there we have it. That barrel looks all right. Springs a bit rough on the end, but we'll clean that and then move to the ultrasonic.